It's the beginning of our um, tour for the, the new handling facility that we've got just completed within the last month or so would start out here with one of the most requested aspects of it, which is a drive-through unload. And so we have the ability to bring trailers either this direction or we can come back through the opposite direction and we can pull through, the cattle get to step off in a small step and then can go right on down the alley. So we can do it individuals or multiple animals. And then we also have our traditional backup unload over there. But this was sort of the big request, you know, <laughs> and it has been really nice. It tapers off just such that the back of the trailer is just uh, almost flush. And so they can step off and, and head down the alleyway. We have a lot of gates and that's kind of a, one of the things that is a bit of work, but it allows us to trap cattle each time. So as they move forward, we can bring a gate behind, bring a gate behind, bring a gate behind. So it's somewhat safe for the handlers, uh, but it also kind of gets our, our cattle moving. Nice wide alley, which um, before we had narrow alleys next to solid walls and really made it a hard time moving it. So this, you know, is kind of nice. We can get out of the pens. Um, all of these will also divert, so I can go to the hospital through a gate like this or unload from pins in the back, the hospital pins, um, out, out in this area. We can divert into our other handling facility on the inside, so we can take um, cattle into there. We have another tilt table, our old table, and some of our old chutes, and so we can, we can make a choice here to go that way or stay in the pins. Well, we've got a, a set of three fairly decent sized just uh, holding pins. And so client comes in, we can actually unload, drop them into some holding pins while we're staging them, waiting for um, whatever we're gonna do with them, which is nice. Um, they're separated such that we don't have nose to nose contact. And all of these pins can either open up the back or the front um, to then go into the clinic. And then what we have here is, as they run in, then we have sort of a tub system or bud tub system in that the goal here is the cattle can come in through this alley and actually will go to a corner. And then all of them want to come back to where they came from. So it's kind of nice that they can come in to here. And then what we'll find is that as we're coming in, as they come in the, into the tub system, they go around and then we can shut this. And as they come back through and want to get into the alley, we put that and they can run into the alley, which is nice. And then as this, or we can run it as a tub and just sweep them this way. So uh, we can continue to sweep them into that alley as well which is spectacular in itself. It's all hydraulic, so we got gates. The alley itself is adjustable, so we can move, you know, large cattle, calves, you, what have you. Um, then we've got you know, sort of a similar chute to what we had before, um, a tilt uh, type chute, um, but it's also got a lot more adjustable stuff at the top. So back to the front, so those move. Um, as well, and then we've got the head gate in addition to that. The head gate has a whole bunch of stuff as well, so we can move those. And then uh, there's a pole up and down. So. But it tilts, another tilt table, but it, it actually holds a little bigger animals than what we had before. Stay the art application of a lot of the, the low stress, efficient cattle handling skills that we talk about. Multiple areas around this is kind of demonstrate that. Um, at the same time, it's more efficient so that we can do more, you know, so um, do more, safer, and uh, get the students a little more hand on.